Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us during Google Cloud Next 2022. We're thrilled to have you at our session, Building Your Workspace Administration Career with Google Cloud Credentials. I'm Mara Soss, the Google Cloud Credentials Certifications and Engagement Lead. And during today's session, we're going to start with the benefits of Google Cloud Certification. Then we're going to talk a bit about the preparation resources available to those who are preparing to become Google Cloud Certified. And then we're going to hear from Jason Butler, Senior Workspace Deployment Engineer from SADA. And then finally, your next steps on your certification journey. So jumping into the benefits and kicking things off with a look at some important industry trends that we're seeing in the market today. Google Cloud skills are critical to enabling customer success and fueling our ecosystem. IT leaders are acutely aware of this, and the industry has seen a 40% increase in cloud job postings between 2019 and 2021. Cloud skills are at the top, or the top skill set in demand by IT departments. And as tech leaders plan to expand their cloud services in the next one to three years, they're also faced with a talent deficit as 80% of these IT leaders identified a lack in cloud skills and cloud knowledge on their teams. And with this growing gap in the cloud skills needed, it is critical to prepare yourself and your teams with the knowledge and credentials that meet this demand. Google Cloud skills are particularly high in demand as the top two paying IT certifications in 2021 in the US were Google Cloud certifications. Now, to further measure the impact that Google Cloud certifications have had on businesses and on individuals, Google Cloud commissioned an independent third-party research organization to conduct a web survey of around 2,000 recently certified Google Cloud individuals. The results of the survey detailed in this report make it clear that industry-recognized Google Cloud certifications help organizations grow the expert cloud talent that they need to effectively transform their business and help individuals elevate their IT careers. The stats are powerful, with 78% of Google Cloud certified individuals feeling more confident in their professional future and 85% feeling more confident in their cloud skills. So, Taking a closer look at why we're all here, the Google Workspace Administrator Certification. Um, the Google Cloud Certified Workspace Administrators have a really important role to play at any organization. They really enable people to work together, communicate and access data in a secure and efficient manner, operating with an engineering and solutions mindset. They use the tools, programming languages, and APIs to automate workflows. The Google Workspace training and certification offers the opportunity to grow and showcase you and your team skills, helping them gain the confidence in their abilities and stay current to give your company a competitive edge. So for those of you who are preparing to become Google Cloud Certified and a Google Cloud Certified Professional Workspace Administrator, I'd like to dive into the resources available to support your path forward. Now, our learning journeys prepare you for certification and beyond. And to help you on that path forward, I'd like to highlight a, a particular learning path um, just dedicated and curated by our instructional designers uh, for becoming and preparing for the Google Cloud Workspace Administrator certification. So we recommend that anybody, you know, first complete the end user learning path that's available on our Google Cloud Skills Boost. That's our uh, on-demand learning platform. And before you jump into the other on-demand courses, we definitely recommend pausing and kind of taking a closer look at the exam guide. The certification exam guide is 
going to be super helpful as far as giving you a sense of what topics might show up on the exam. And it's a good way to kind of navigate the areas that you feel confident in or less confident in and help you kind of spend time in, in building out what your study plan might look like. Now your study plans should definitely include the Google Workspace Administration on-demand learning path. And then also we have a skill badge, configure your workspace, Google Workspace for IT admins. Now that skill badge we'll talk a bit more about in a minute, but I also wanted to highlight the preparation tool um, available to you, which are our sample questions. And these are kind of practice questions that give our learners and our candidates a sense of what the questions will kind of look and feel like on the exam. And they are, again, kind of a great way to assess um, the areas that you're, you're feeling super strong in or not and, and help kind of devise your, your learning and uh, study guide. So, so those are some sort of helpful tips curated by our, our um, Google Cloud Learning Services team to help you on your way to certification. Now, I mentioned a skill badge. Google Cloud skill badges are digital badges issued by Google Cloud in recognition of an individual's cloud proficiency with Google Cloud products and services. A skill badge is earned by completing a series of hands-on labs and taking a final assessment challenge lab to test a learner's skills through the Google Cloud Skills Boost learning platform that I mentioned. So we did some um, analysis and we've commissioned some additional research around the value and impact of skill badges and they really are a, a helpful tool. Um, we found that 90% of skill badge earners found that they helped them in preparing for Google Cloud certification. So again, we really recommend uh, earning that skill badge to help prepare you for the certification and help building up some of that real world um, experience with Google Workspace. So the certification exam does assess the, um, the different topics that you're seeing here on this slide. And it's a great way to really validate your ability, your team's ability, and help them gain their confidence and, and kind of stay current with the latest Google Cloud Workspace technologies. So have a look at those, those topics. And to give you a sense of what to kind of expect on exam day, the certification exam is two hours in length. It is of multiple choice and multiple select format. There are no prerequisites. However, we do recommend that the candidate for the exam have around three years of industry experience and at least one year of working with Google Workspace. And some additional benefits to highlight for those of you who earn your certification, um, this will unlock a digital badge for you and a Google Cloud certified digital certificate that you can proudly display on your social profiles like LinkedIn or your resume. And you will also earn some exciting Google Cloud certified professional merchandise that you can you know, proudly wear at customer meetings, at a company events, or at Google Cloud events. And also you will gain access to our Google Cloud Certified Community, our Google Cloud Certified Directory. This is a good place for individuals who are looking to kind of um, explore other career options and you can network with other certified individuals over there as well. So without further ado, I am so excited to hear from our partner, um, Jason Butler. So he's going to talk more about the Google Cloud uh, Workspace Administrator job role and the impact that the certification has had on his career and his organization. And we're so happy to have you, Jason Butler, our senior Google Workspace Deployment Engineer from our Google Cloud Premier Partner, SADA. So Jason, um, would love for you to just kind of jump in and tell us a bit more about your role, your job experience, working with um, Google Workspace and some of those projects. Yeah, uh, thanks, Mara, for having me here today. So excited to be part of Next 2022. Uh, so my role and experience at SADA uh, as a deployment engineer is uh, I am responsible for moving companies or other organizations from the on-premise uh, 
situation or to the Google workspace from either Microsoft or whatever other cloud service they're using into Google. Uh, I've been doing this for uh, over eight years now. So I've been excited to see how Google Workspace has grown over the years and how it continues to evolve and change and become an industry leader in the cloud services. Amazing. Thank you, Jason. Great background. And I know we're all super happy to have you and your eight years of experience on this, this session. So, I mean, you know, making that next step and, and like the motivation to like really dedicate and focus to prepare for a certification exam. Could you talk about like what drove you to do that and that, that decision and how it arose? Yeah. Uh, so Google's uh, like you said, always evolving, always changing. So it's important to know that you're up to date on uh, what Google Workspace is offering these days. So uh, as a deployment engineer or workspace admin engineer, you need to be ready and understand everything that uh, Google has available to help make sure that you have the most secure environment possible. Just because everybody these days is worried about security and the uh, workspace admin exam does focus a lot on security specific questions. So they test you in specific scenarios of what actions would you take uh, if something was breached, something along those lines. So the ad admin exam definitely helps you make sure you fully grasp and understand uh, the workspace environment as best as you can. Yeah, I think absolutely. And a, a great way to kind of boost your confidence, but also, you know, show that you have an industry validated you know, certification um, and kind of proudly display that on your resume. So maybe now you can just kind of touch a bit more on like the overall benefits and that you've seen since becoming certified and how has it impacted your career at SADA? Yeah, uh, the admin exam has been uh, very influential in my career. Um, mm -hmm. I've started working as a support engineer all those years ago. And over those times, I've taken this exam, every iteration Google has had available while I've been here. So uh, Google Workspace has uh, been around for a while. So I've been in all of those exams. They've helped me progress from support uh, to a deployment engineer, to sales engineering, and now into my current role as a senior deployment engineer and pod lead at SADA. So uh, definitely, if I did not have this exam, I wouldn't uh, think I could progressed as quickly as I have over these past mm -hmm. years. So this exam has definitely been very helpful um, in my uh, career path. Oh, amazing. Congratulations on your great success. And that path is certainly, I'm sure, inspiring our audience. So um, I think now uh, the great question also around preparing tips, tricks, what are, you, what are your thoughts on, on that when it comes to preparing for the exam? Yeah, my, my first tip is definitely take that practice exam early and often uh, because that will show you uh, at the start a good baseline of where your knowledge gaps are and where you need to focus your studying going forward. It's also always helpful to have access to the admin console, make sure you understand all of those settings Google has great help articles on every setting in the admin console available to everyone. And then also take advantage of uh, the support forums that are available for the workplace exam, just because it does help you connect uh, with other users uh, that are in your same situation, studying for the exam, uh, maybe needing help uh, on a specific question that they can get answered. So it just creates that community where uh, everybody can connect and uh, progress and pass this exam uh, together. So yeah, uh, those are just some quick tips that I've come across in my many iterations of taking this exam. So I just wanted to thank you, Mara, for having me here today and hopefully those will help everybody uh, in the future. Absolutely, great tips and insights. Thank you so much, Jason, for joining us. Thank you. So. To wrap things up, I'm going to review a couple additional resources to consider on the rest of your journey here with us at Next 2022. And before we jump into that, though, I did want to remind everybody that we do have a session coming up on November 15th. 
in which we will take a closer look at the Google Workspace Administrator certification exam. So that's highly recommended, especially for those of you who are already committed to preparing and well on onto that certification prep path. We hope to see you there. Also throughout Next, make sure to check out the Google Clout challenges. Those are over in the dev zone. Um, definitely challenge yourself and, and check that out. And then also I wanted to touch back on the Google Cloud Skills Boost on-demand learning platform. If you haven't heard of it before or you're not already using it, we do have a 30-day trial available to new users. And then also, if you already are a Google Cloud Skills Boost user, we also have an annual subscription available that we announced during the next keynote, which we hope you can take advantage of. For $2.99 a year, you can unlock some pretty substantial benefits. Um, especially for our developers. There are certification benefits. There's um, some Google Cloud credits available to you as well as, a, um, as an annual subscriber. So please consider that. And you can head over to that URL to get started. So that does conclude our session. We thank you so much for joining us here at Next 2022. And we will see you in the cloud.